This series is tied at one apiece. Game one was an overtime victory by Baltimore. While game two, Boston came to the Burns Arena and just mopped the floor with the Bombers here just a few weeks ago. Tamburino and Velakis at the faceoff. Bombers control the first faceoff. Tamburino run off the floor. Vosper with possession. Gets double team. He breaks double team. He's going to drive towards the center. Backs it out. He thought about shooting. And now they'll set up the offense. Spoker with possession down in the near corner. Bombers in their white jerseys today with their red and yellow black stripes. And the shoulders are a shot by Spoker. Deflected. Ulrich fighting for the ball in the corner. And Jay, already off the bat, we're seeing a lot more physicality by the Baltimore Bombers with the way they're setting up their picks right now. We have an over and back call as the ball goes all the way down to the other end. That will be Rockhopper's possession. Jared Welsh, Brian Bartram, Todd Shore joining us here for your broadcast today. Keep in mind that you can interact with us throughout the course of today's game at msilacrosse at gmail.com. msilacrosse at gmail.com. Boston trying to drive inside. Good defense put up by the Bombers. Nice Jenny, save by Jenny. Jenny shrugs the first shot away. Rock Hoppers are going to retain possession and get set. Cameron with possession. There's an underhand shot deflected off the defense. Trying to pick it up. Rock Hoppers retain possession and get a fresh shot clock. Underhand shot's going to bounce high. Picked up by Kirkaldi. Kirkaldi in the corner just getting absolutely decked by Sean Nadalin. Bounce shot. Swallowed up by Ginny. Loose ball. Finally picked up by Josh Funk of the Bombers, and he'll bring it across midfield and set a possession. Deckelbaum on the floor. Here comes Spoker. Shot goes high. Got deflected. Nice stick check put on Spoker as he tried to shoot. Yeah, didn't get to come through with his full follow-through on that one. Barnett's going to clear the ball up the floor for Boston, and now they will get their proper offensive unit on the floor. Getting things set up. More spread offense we're seeing today from Boston than we saw last time. Centering pass. There's a shot. Save made by Ginny. That's going to deflect off the boards. Rick Get Gassel. picked up by Boston. Ryan Hoffmaster going to the goal. And already the Bombers showing they're going to be more aggressive on the defense as Josh Funk really lays a nice hit on for the Bombers. Rock Harbor's trying to set up some pick, picks down inside, guys. A little bit different game. Play oh, and Kirkaldi with the upper left corner shot on Ginny. So Kirkaldi gets things rolling here for Boston, getting the first goal of today's game at 12.06 in the first quarter of action. Andrew Kirkaldi with a big game. A few weeks ago, he's one of their top point scorers for Boston. Face off, Tamburino versus Velakis. Tamburino is going to win it clean. Gets it over to Vosberg in the corner. He's going to drive. Vosberg backs out again. Thought he had a look. Nice recovery from the defense. Sering pass. Shot. Deflection. And Hickman. Hickman trying to get on the board early. Talbot with a nice kick save. Battle for the ball in the corner. Talbot's going to come out of goal to help make a play. Vosberg's got to be aware. He's got a man behind him. Big clearing pass up the floor. Kyle Barnett. Delayed penalty. Damian Davis on the floor defensively. With possession now. It's Cameron, Cameron part of that gal. Part of the, the brothers. We'll go by first names for them today to not make it confusing. Cameron and Roman. Driving to the inside. Bounce pass. Not ready for it was Martin Bowes. Yeah, it was kind of funny. It's almost like Martin didn't know that ball was coming towards him. And, and going to the right, a delayed penalty. The box, I believe, is Dan Kachi going to the box. And actually, oh no, he's just picking up his ball. So Dan Kachi, I believe, is going to the box. Waiting for the official call. One, 11 18. 
Left to play, Boston with possession. Faking the shot was Cameron. He's gonna pass it around the horn. Different style offense we saw than a few weeks ago here, Brian. And now there goes the offense in motion. A lot Looking more. for the shot, Ginny able to hit it away with her blocker glove. It's gonna get picked up by Roman. A lot more working the ball around the horn by Boston today. And, and uh, Ginny made the initial save, but Mike Stone gets it started off early here for Boston Rockhoppers again, who had six goals last game here against Baltimore. 10.48 left to go here in the first. Two nothing, the Boston Rockhoppers over the Baltimore Bombers. The strength of that shot, even though Ginny made the save, allowed the ball to wiggle through and score. So as Brian just said, two nothing is a score. Another win for Tamburino. He's three for three on the day at the faceoff. And now they'll slow things down. Hickman with possession. Joy on the floor. Spoker. Ulrich. Underhand shot. Oh, it's a nice shot. Jeff, Jeff Joy. Joy on the fun. goal. And makes it two to one now. So Jeff Joy, who had a good game against this same Boston team just a few weeks ago, getting things going for the Bombers. So all which to Joy on that interaction, that goal. Battle for the ball with another win. So far 100% here on today's matchup against Vlakis. Tree coming down with the ball. He's going to give it up for Vosberg. Vosberg will settle. Jeff Joy with the ball. It's real easy to spot Jeff Joy out with the hair. With his long, flowy Aussie hair. Just don't tell your wife that, Jay. Underhand shot. Scores! Two in a row by Jeff Joy at the 10.08 mark. So Joy able to answer the opening two goals of the Rockhoppers by himself, getting back-to-back -back goals in just about a minute apart from each other, roughly. Not, e for not even. Joy. Not even, Jay. 10.31 and 10.08 here. So about about only 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Face off. Tamburino doing a great job getting that low gravity on Velakis. Oh, the first one that there's the final possession, but yeah, it was up for grabs there. And even Tom Palasek with the ball. Outmatched, he was able to uh Vosberg steals it away from Palasek. Vosberg's got a man open. Oh, and he falls trying to get it on the and That was Funk wide open. Yeah, Funk that was a kind of an awkward fall down to try to get that into the goal. He did his best that he could just to try to get the ball out of his stick. 940 left to go here in the first. Rock Hoppers with possession. Tie ball game at two. A lot of action. That shot goes wide. Picked up by the Bombers. Moving down the floor. Going to get their guys on. Getting tries, numbers here. Tries to drive is Funk. Funk gets it to Hickman. Hickman's going to settle. And it looks like Funk's kind of taking over for the Ben Rubio role today. Hickman, one-handed, looking somewhere to shoot the Hitman. Gets it up to Spoker. Spoker shot right off the chest pad of Talbot. Ball in front, 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 front. Behind the yeah. back, Spoker unable to convert. Ball goes up in the air for Stone, and he's going to clear it. And here's a one on one situation. Got number Damian Davis. Davis was quick off the on the floor there. Davis real fast coming off the, for the defense transition. But we see he does his CrossFit uh, jump ropes before the game starts, so that kind of gives him that added speed. Get the blood flowing. Kirkaldi's going to drive. Kirkaldi. Save made by Ginny. She gets taken out by the legs. The dive follow-up shot goes wide. Ginny comes out of the net. Ball picked up. Bounce pass ahead of Tree. Tree's got ahead of Steve. He's got no one to fly it. down the floor. Tree centering pass. Oh. Unable. Wasik able to convert. Good heads up move by Tree. As the defense was shifting his way. Now they're going to try to recover. Rockhopper's going to push the Tree's got to get back over the other way. So you got Damien and Tree. Vetter with possession. Vetter will give it up. Coming on for Vosberg. Hoffmeister. Hoffmeister with the ball. Looking for somewhere to go. Gets it over to Bose. Marty Bose with possession. He's going to draw Funk. Or excuse me. He still has possession. Now things are getting shippy down there, Brian. Right at the goal line extended area. Ball gets picked up by Baltimore. And coming the other way is... Madeline, Madeline, underhand flip to Hickman. 
Hickman, kind of, Hickman over to Joy. Joy getting open in the middle there for Joy. Joy with a good head shoulder dodge, looking for somewhere to go with it. First to the far corner. Here comes inside Hickman trying to score quickly. Without Joy with a follow up shot, and now the Rock Hoppers will go the other way. Good recovery by Baltimore. We've seen more speed coming off the bench today than we have either of the other uh, last two home games for. It's something bombers. that we talked about earlier in the pregame, what they need to do, get back into transition so they're not outnumbered in the offensive zone. Ron Copper setting up their possession, trying to draw the pick. Streaks inside. Can't get a shot off. Ginny just f flicks at the underhand. Mike last Stone gets effort. taken down. Baltimore ball. We're going to get an official's timeout, I think. Then see him point to you one side or the other. It's 648. We have an official's timeout here. It's, we're seeing uh, the physicality level step up to a different level than what we've seen out of this Bombers team in any of the previous two home games. Well, yes, Jay, as you notice too, usually you have Martin Bowes on the left and Mike Stone on the right, and it's kind of, they've they reversed it today, and it's almost, almost like it's a, it's part of their strategy, getting Bowes on the right, Stone on the left, to kind of give a little bit of confusion. But uh, I haven't really seen that today out of Damian Davis and Adeline and, and such, and Trey. Uh, they've done a great job of containing those guys and not letting them drive to the goal. Keep in mind, uh, for all of our listeners out there, listen to us on MSI Radio and Live365.com or on our website. You can follow us also on Twitter and YouTube at MD Sports Insider. Same keyword for both of those websites. You can also interact with us throughout the course of the game at msilacrosse at gmail.com, msilacrosse at gmail.com. You can follow us through there as well. You can also interact with us on Twitter, MD Sports Insider. Uh, we will answer any questions that you might have uh, going on in the game action. We will give you live, up-to-date uh, stats and scores uh, throughout the entirety of this game today. 6.48 as we have the timeout, officials timeout, I believe it was called. Adam Miller running out on the floor, as he does every time there's a timeout to talk to uh, Ginny as they go over notes with each other on what they're seeing from their, their different angles. It's really nice to see like them working together um, that way. Because a lot of times you have understudies not necessarily you know that willing to help, but very much a team effort between those two American goaltenders here. And starting with possession, we'll be with the Rock Hoppers after the uh, the timeout. Bose with possession. Kirkaldi trying to set up a pick. Bose looks to shoot. He's going to pull it back in. Great stick work there by Bose. And running off his pallet. Pallet. They're going to put an extra man on the floor. 6.31. We have a delayed penalty as you see the official's hand up in the air. So that's why Talbot ran off the floor. Shot clock winding down. That will not count as a shot. Too, too far wide. Setting up for it is Cameron. Shot clock violation, but we do have a penalty that will go against the Bombers. Looks like it will uh, be a personal foul. Some sort. I believe he pointed to his head. We'll see what the call was. Trying to see a number of who was going in. I think it's Sean Madeline. I'm not 100% positive. I'll wait for the official announcement. Six sixteen left to play here in the first quarter of action here from the Dewburns Arena. Two to two is our score right now. Boston with the extra man opportunity here as they set up. They're going to work the ball around the horn. Inside shot Our deflected. Party. And Brian, I'm surprised that we've seen two or three guys able to drive after the statement that the Bombers made after the last game. But they're not able to drive as hard. So it looks like they're at least slowing them up, able to chip a little bit. Look in the little zone. It's not more of a man-to-man. -man. It's kind of a zone. Kind of work it in. Work your own spot. And don't let them get past this line is what they're going with. Baltimore kind of just getting manhandled right Double there. Double team down there. Here comes Hickman. Hickman. Oh, right across the face. How is that not a penalty? You, and there's the, there it is. Called on the, by the low inside. Mr. Abbott's got it. Hickman and Ulrich getting in the face there. And going to the bench, I believe, is Pedley. Garrett Pedley going to the penalty box. And he, I mean, 
He just took him down. Just high, that was almost like a horse collar tackle in football. Horse collar. That was the way he was getting taken down. Just took grabbed it. around the neck. Yep. I was surprised it took Mr. Abbott that long to blow the whistle. Now I was kind of wondering if he was going to get called for a penalty on that one, Garrett Pedler. Although I think he didn't blow it initially because I think uh, – Hickman still had possession the whole way through it. So I think he was waiting to see if Hickman would recover. So we're all even at four on the floor right now. There's about a 40-second-ish delay between the two penalties. They're going Hickman high. stays on. Uh, he's going to drive. Looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Throws around behind the net. Trying to center it. Ulrich and oh, unable to hot. convert his deckle bomb. That's one of those um, you run sun, back. you know, shade sun passes right there. You have a few spots. It's, it's I definitely not in front of the goalies today. I didn't think it'd be that bad. We had overcast up until about the face-off yeah. time and then the sun came out. Uh, but while it was overcast, it wasn't, you didn't see an issue with it at all. But the way the sun's moving and with the uh, at least it's going to the left, closer towards the stand. It's right staying now. away from the goaltender the way it is right now. Trying to drive. Good defense. Good recovery. Funk just doing a great job defensively. Looking for the shot. Save made by Jimmy. That was Lance Carter. And Funk getting a pickup on this. And now Funk's going to gonna try to drive. He wanted to split the duo there, but then thought better about trying to do that. And he'll throw it over to Hickman as they try to get their guys on the floor. Joy's wide open the far side. Hickman sees him. Underhand shot. Joy goes wide. Joy, the only two, uh, only goal scored today for the Bombers so far. Two goals earlier this quarter. We're tied at two. Eight seconds left on the Baltimore penalty. 52 left on the Rockhoppers penalty. 1-0 on the penalty. has been killed. So it's been 46 seconds of extra man play. And he got 55s open, way down He's there. wide open, looking for the one-on-one. -on -one. He cannot come up with the pass, and that's going to let Boston recover. They ball more with numbers, though, and a weak pass wow. over Joy. Joy's got to pick it up off the carpet. Now they're going to try to work things around and settle down a little bit. Not, Nadalyn staying out on the offense. Let's see if we can get uh, Nads a goal here. I'd like to see a goal out Spoker of Spoker shot, save made. Talbot trying to recover. That went off his leg blocker. Madeline doing a good job defensively. He's going to recover and able to get back quickly. Roman bringing the ball up for the Rockhoppers. Trying to work things around going inside there for Hayes. Hayes thought about driving, got double teamed, so he's going to run oh, out of the back of the net. Behind. I don't Hayes know that was just caught up in feet. Hayes just running around for his life there. And he's just going to dump it in because of a shot clock violation, so they don't get it. Tree. 313, we're back to even strength too. Tree's gonna pick up the ball for the bombers possession. We got Funk. Allrich. Allrich on the floor Hickman. with Deckelbaum and Hickman. It's kinda easy to spot Hickman. Yeah, short, stocky guy. Stocky guy that you don't want to piss off right now. And he's he's setting up he's trying to he's getting real aggressive. Wasik now on the floor. We got our entire offensive unit. Funk, Mr. Consistency, as we like to call it. Gets it to Hickman, him. Hickman. Had a breakout game two weeks ago. Shot goes wide against Kentucky in the doubleheader weekend down in Kentucky. He wants to get things rolling there as well. Here comes oh, Lance Carter to throw it up over for Vetter. Vetter with possession. Vetter around to Kirkaldi. Kirkaldi draws the one-on-one. -on -one. Ball getting moved around. Trying to drive. Great defense put up there by Vosberg. Shot and score at 223. Breaking the tie. Mike and Stone. Stone again. Breaks the 2 2 tie to make it 3 2. With 223 left to play in the first. Face off. They're getting Amber really low on this one, Jay. Well, Tambo's got that low center of gravity anyway. He's going with his Greco Roman style. And right? he wins. He, he wins yeah. the tie up and is able to get it. Vosberg will pick up the ball to start the possession for Jack Joy on. The Bombers. Hickman. Wasik down on the far side corner. Great movement by the Bombers off ball. Hickman looking for somewhere to go. Gets it up for Joy. Joy looks for Spoker. 
Spoker's going to help set a pick. Far side pass. Deckelbaum, swim move. Can't oh, get the shot off. Through it. They need to get it off. Two, one. Shot scores! Deckelbaum! With two seconds left on the shot clock, the desperation shot. Dirty Danny. Deckelbaum ties it at three apiece here with 1.38 to go in our first quarter of action. As you listen to Baltimore Bombers across here with Maryland Sports Insider, every single home game here from the Burns Arena will be calling live every Thursday night. Throughout the course of the season, we have our Inside the Hangar with the Bomber Show live at Tamburino gets another win. Tamburino you got loses say, the handle, but looking at him getting, getting nasty on that. We got a whistle. It's going to be Bomber's ball. 21's being scolded. Now, Ethan Vetter apparently did something there to... I think it was going over the, in... Uh, the, he may have gone over and back in try, with the possession. Oh, oh Rich. Trying to circle the wagons here. Spoker, excuse me, uh, off the boards. Hickman gets it back to Ulrich. Ulrich is trying to gain his footing here. Nice swim move. Kevin Drew doing a nice job defensively against Ulrich. Ulrich right inside. Spoker cannot Spoker handle the pass. He was wide open. On his horse is John Hayes. Hayes going down. He's got the pass across. Shot. Score. Oh, and Ethan Vetter four gets on the one. goal. Four on one. That's Ethan Vetter from John Hayes. Makes it four to three, and you're right, Brian. When you have numbers like that, there's not much Ginny could do. She did everything a goalie can possibly do in that situation. She got low, made herself big, but well, four on. I mean, basically at four on one, because Spoker was already slipped up, so he wasn't catching up to the herd. Uh, going Spoker forward. was wide open if he was able to get the handle on that pass. Tamburino, he's going to come all the way down, looking to shoot, takes the hit, flicks it to Wasik, I believe. No, it's Ulrich. Ulrich with possession. And now they're going to settle. Deckelbaum settles. The Joy Joy shot goes off the backboards. And that's going to be off the net. So it'll be, Rock Bomber. Hopper, it'll be uh, yes, Rock Hopper's possession. They'll have to reset. Roman with, is going to take possession of the ball. 40, 40 seconds left here to go in the first quarter. 4-3 to three is the score as Baltimore is trailing by one. 30 seconds remaining. Stephen Trinity Trinity with the shot. Drive. It's Ginny. swallowed up by Ginny. Oh, we've got and now here. Josh Funk. Jack Funk's Joy. Going to slow it down a bit. 17 seconds left to go here in the first. Brigowski really putting a number on. Oh, and Those Funk had the. I don't know why Funk didn't try to drive that himself. He had nobody in front of him. Joy loses his stick. He's going to try to recover defensively. Kyle Barnett inside right. pass. Trying to make Ginny move from right to left. Ginny with a great goal. save. And that's the end of our first and quarter. And we got some extra uh, activities going on here with Greg Romanowski. And that will end our first quarter of action as you listen to Baltimore Bomber, Bombers Lacrosse here with me.